Good morning, cadets, and welcome back to Horizon for being a West playthrough where uh, I did explore a bit of this island, but not fully, mostly a bit in the south. I kind of let this corner over here because it's a lot of water and I was not in the mood to swim that much to get it. And most of the question marks were actually like blocked paths, so no rebel outposts. And the reason I'm saying that. Not only that, here at this unknown, I did not see, or I did not get any comment like, oh, it's a rebel outpost or not. I did notice I'm actually still missing like two vista points. As I, look, I was looking through collectibles. I'll be surprised if these two are actually two vista points because visually I did not quite catch an antenna at this unknown that is skimming right here, the fog of war. So I'm assuming this one here is definitely a vista point so at least one but then again maybe this one is gonna be a bit more the antenna a bit more buried than it's still gonna be a vista point who knows other than that i did find quite quite a few data points i will not be reading them all of them this episode because i believe if i counted correctly it's like around 11 that i found so i think maybe i read at least two, like take them in order like this. So I'm gonna read at least these two and maybe, depending how long they are, maybe I'll do these two on this line as well. And then in another episode, we're, we're gonna have a look at those ones because this is gonna remain like new until I select them. So that's all good. So yeah, before we head on, because I'm literally at the campfire next to the main objective no comments either from Aloy and yeah this if you remember there was a question mark over here and this was actually the location for the survey drone so I have that one as well I just need to deliver it if I'm not mistaken yeah I have not uh, returned it and then we still have to give the ornament to Stemmer but that probably I'm gonna make Maybe a bit more of a filler episode, so to speak. Like go through all the aspects or all the views from the survey drones at the base. And then the ornaments here, because I haven't changed that at all. I just left, left one and that's it. And yeah, maybe I'll combine that with some of the data points here. The reading. And also, if I'm going to do this mission... Or depending how this is gonna go, uh, we're probably gonna find more data points, so more more to read. Anyway, let's start with these two, and then we'll see. So this is Treasure Island. This was actually the question mark way down in the south and more to the east, like literally like the archipelago down there. Like here. So yeah. Treasure Island. From Jerry. Sialatua. To Fred Sialatua. Subject. Made it. I'm finally here. Don't know why they originally called it Treasure Island. But it sure lives up to his name now. At Mission Control. They follow dozens of drone uh, point of views. All semi-autonomously mining precious metals from near earth asteroids. Can't even fathom how much it all must be worth. As for me, they've got everything set up. Spacious lodgings, holosphere relaxation room, and a top-of-the-line food printer in the kitchen. All just for me. Realistically, I don't even need to leave the island for anything. I can either make, order, or simulate all I could want. Or that's the idea, I think. They want me focused on the work. For now... Though, they want me to settle in, explore the repurposed Navsta base and whatnot. I expected I'd need uh, to dump my stuff in a locker and get straight to it, but these people... It's clear that time and money don't have much of a grip on them. They're above it all. I doubt they could even imagine the hardships we've been through. But what matters is what we can look forward to an easier life too. Shouldn't it be long before I can pay you back for everything. I wouldn't have it made it without you and I'll never forget it. P.S. Look to the sky on August 21st. 
that's when 367551 doing should breach atmosphere. Hopefully, you'll see a falling star that your so your sun helps strip for all the platinum it's worth. Mm. That's sweet. Okay, and then Trelago relocates. San Francisco, June 30th, 30th 2060. While many speak of the Bay Area's eh, tech speak a lago, with breathless reverence, in Thun Lestari, Chilago's CFO has nothing positive to say about California's traditional tech hub. We're just burning capital on floating architecture. If the companies there were as clever as they claim, they would have relocated after the floods. Lestari disdain must extend to her predecessor at Chilago, who only moved the company's HQ to the Techipelago three years ago. Now, as the latest in a series of high-profile relocation, Chilago's main offices are bound for Sol Salt Lake City, where Faro leads, others follow, stated Ted Faro, who moved Faro Automated Solution to Utah in 2042, largely to take advantage of massive tax incentives. LSC will continue to displace Northern California as the nation's preeminent tech hub well into the foreseeable, they the corrupted, probably foreseeable future. Okay, uh, you know what? I'll read these two as well, so that way I'll have the last line here, because in the last line I'm, I'm missing just one, so it's much more easier for me to know which is new, and I don't wanna... These two lines here, there's too many gaps, so the next one, hold, oops! Data corrupted, messages between Shanti and Dave. Shanti. What do you mean, you forgot, Dave? Build shipped without Scarface, Blenny, Shanti. Yikes, Dave. Nobody, nobody's gonna notice, Shanti. It's an aqua sim, and some of our high-level anglers are very observant, Dave. Uh, hey, the COO can't read this, right, Shanti? Well, that corrupted. <laughs> I, I think they read it, so. Big oops. And revisiting the mind upload. Data corrupted, but by no means vital to our existence as a sentient race. Transcendence from the biological body should set us free from the time and space that we are locked into, and even make us receptive, receptive, receptive to redesigning the human condition. Page 192 to 194. Based on Moore's law, Ditz predicted that transhumanism through digital uploading would be possible a mere half a century after publishing her research. Even though Moore's law is still in effect and vast silver has proven that the technological singularity can be attained, current efforts would seem to indicate that a successful upload is far out of reach. It may stay so. According to the plethora of scholars that have opposed Ditz's predictions, see Bren, Mulders, etc., all of that. But that doesn't mean that scientists won't continue to make the attempt. Researchers at the Center for Transhuman Studies, an initiative backed by futurist, futurist investor Peter Tsif Humbe, I butchered that name for sure, have dedicated significant resources to an ambitious series of consciousness upload experiments scheduled for the next five years. I believe in the immortality of the human spirit, writes Tsif in the center's mission statement. And the logical next step is the immortality of the human mind. Interesting. You didn't encounter anything in in both games. As far as, as far as I remember. So yeah, uh Gaia had the genome, you know, DNA and whatnot for different humans, so it diversifies the gene pool, but not the minds. Otherwise, Aloy could have been literally, you know, Elizabeth, you know, Elizabeth minds in it. But that makes me think, could this be something that they will tackle maybe in the DLC for this game or maybe in the future games? Could be interesting if this actually kind of worked and you kind of get to meet 
like digital versions of the old the old people back in the day damn anyway uh that's enough for the reading let's go to legacy to landfall and see where everybody is because looks like i haven't came across about anybody around here except the machines so i'm assuming i'm gonna have to advance a bit the main quest it must be the entrance to landfall up ahead oh finally i see people damn hey hey is that her the living ancestor what? the diviner wasn't lying ah she okay. looks peaceful enough ancestor you may approach forgot that alva called us that this is landfall right i'm looking for alva overseer bohai ordered us to invite you before him should you approach please come with me go let him know we're coming i mean one of you can stay guard it's her the diviner was right oh boy Is that the ship? Yeah, not the Overseer really Bohai. It. A stranger just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat lurking in such a guise. I am no threat, okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... Oh. Is that Alva? No. Who are you? May I present our honored CO? So, here she is. Our great mystery. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CEO. How can she appear as Sobek, and yet know nothing of our ways? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land, an ocean apart from the realm of the Chosen? And if so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. Oh boy. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? I'm looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. I guess you could say I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. Tell we found what? Thebes, the final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. It isn't far, but the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that a machine has our people pinned behind their defenses, but they're holding out. Machines, huh? I can help with that. Alva told us that you are indeed formidable. But I have a few questions first. We will answer what we can. Right. Can I ask about your name, though? <laughs> uh, 
because is that actually like CEO but said differently like CEO maybe they found the word and they did not know exactly how is it said let's ask about the expedition first do we need to get up you crossed the ocean on these ships couldn't have been easy greatness is never easy indeed it took seven years just to build the flotilla this expedition is the most important undertaking of our generation a quest for knowledge across the gaping sea with nothing less than the fate of our tribe at stake and none of it would have been possible without the will of the seal the voyage was difficult the wilds here even more so our sailors and soldiers have suffered much i know that but all for the glory of the quen good to know well yeah <laughs> that was basically saying like a yeah, cool story anyway uh what about you two so all the reports to you I was chosen by my colleagues on the board of overseers to supervise data retrieval on this expedition, yes. And you're in charge of the expedition? He is far more than that. You are addressing the cousin of the Emperor of the Quinn. Heir to the vast holdings of the Great Delta, the first CO in five generations. All she needs to understand is that I am the authority here. And my will is to attain the secrets of Thebes. Mine too. We're in luck. Yeah, our goals align for now. So, what do you know about Thebes? So you found Thebes. How? The ancestors revealed it to us not long after we made landfall. Almost a year ago. Through a scrap of ancient data discovered by Alva and verified by myself. It contained details about the construction of a great underground palace. Where, exactly? Close. Beneath the Great Pyramid in the ruins beyond. Figures. Ted loves his pyramids. Have you been inside? Uh, no. <laughs> that has been a problem, one of many. And we will solve them all in time. Getting back to the site is the one at hand. I hope you're as effective against machines as Diviner Alva suggested. Oh, I am. Well, what are you looking for exactly? What exactly are you looking for inside Thebes? I thought Alva brought back the data you needed. We risked much to cross the ocean. Therefore, we must unearth every possible link to the legacy while we are here, especially one as important as Thebes. We will not sail back until I have plundered its secrets. I. Okay. I see how it is with you. All right, what's this about machines around the area? What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? A thunder jaw. We've dealt with them before, but this one is... Tougher, stronger, and it has black armor? Yes. How did you know? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Won't be easy, but I can take it down. Then destiny shines upon us, as I knew it would. A living ancestor now walks among us, and she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. Resupply here if you must. Then on to Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. Uh, right. Can we chat more? <laughs> what Other... more do you need? Nope. Okay. Nothing new. I should get going. Yes, you should. Yeah, keep talking like that. 
there's gonna be an arrow for your eyes right so uh animal machine strike I just <laughs> don't start so this is the cook okay i mean i don't really need to mark them because they're literally right next to me Okay. Ah, there's my. Let's play some machine strike. Last uh, machine strike on. How was it experienced? Expert, not experienced. Oh, is that? It is. A data point. Gotta say, I love the design of the ship. To be honest, and that's my armor. Uh, I don't know where was this chest actually. My needle is ready to serve. Somewhere. Hope you got more of a fight in you today. Just out of curiosity, what do you have? The next dragoon, Nora Valiant. Okay, Osram Kaja. Oh, well, our paths are crossed. Yeah, already have the ah, there's the chest. Already have the legendary one. Clothing for all purposes. You, okay, there you stash. Mm. I'm not sure if I had anything. Oh, there's another data point over there. We need a chest. Off to the big pyramid to fight the Thunderjaw. Hope they don't mind me trying to open this one. Oh, did I just get. I did get a gauntlet. What's she running for? Or. Another gauntlet. You're the alchemy, and I think that should be everyone. Destiny Having a good day. But your path to it. Something's holding up. How did she? That might be. Hey, you're back. Oh, actually, there's another data point over here. Right, these ones I'm actually gonna read because I'm a bit more part of this quest, so to speak. And these are glyphs. So three more glyphs and I'm I have all of them found. Okay, so edition protocol. Scroll containing quen glyphs in official script. Soldiers of the expedition. An important reminder of rules and regulations that must be followed at all times. By now, it should be evident that hoarding provisions will be met with harsh measures. Furthermore, all foraged food must be brought before our survival experts for identification, categorization, and rationing. All relics found in or near the sunken city are to be brought before Diviner Nirik, Diviner Alpha, or myself, Diviner Alva, or myself, immediately and without question or hesitation. Failure to do so will irrevocably lead to capital punishment for both the culprit and next of kin back home. Under no circumstances are to approach our revered CEO unless given a direct order to do so. Should this honor be bestowed upon you, improper conduct such as direct eye contact will be punished severely. For the Quen, for our future overseer Bohai. Well, you didn't get punished. We kind of made direct eye contact, so we're fine on that one. Right, next one. Ancestor Primer. To a diviner is to be both deeply blessed and solemnly responsible. As scholars of on the infinite wisdom of the ancestors, the commoners look to us for guidance. We must not forsake our duty to counsel them. However, trivial their concern and predicaments may seem to be, 
let this primer serve as a touchstone whenever they are in need of inspiration. If one is beset by fatigue or hunger, tell them to look to the spark. Nikita Arand, the ancestor who gave rise to our great empire. Through her wisdom, we overcame stagnation to live in abundance. If one is beset by mal malady or hardship, tell them to look to the healer Song Jiao, the ancestor who defied notions of illness, illness and death. Through her wisdom, we strive to push past our physical restraints and live in vigor. If one is beset by anxiety or trepidation, tell them to look to the protector Eric Weiser, or Viser. The ancestor who embodied, embodied strength in uncertain times. Through his wisdom, we dominated our enemies to build a better future. If one is beset by envy or bitterness, tell them to look to the patron, Peter Chis, Chishumbe, the ancestor who advocated for transcendence in humanity. Through his wisdom, we stifled dissension to form a society greater than the sum of his, part, of his parts. If one is beset by apathy, or hopelessness, tell them to look to the the newer data corrupted. And the last one, casualty ledger. Okay, this one is a bit more short. So lost at sea, 61 accidents, 9 killed in action, 41 barbarians, 21 machines, 20 sickness, malnutrition, 11 executed, 7 censored, 4. But so a total of 133. Censored. What? <clears throat> what do you mean censored? We have accidents, killed in action, barbarians, machines, sickness, malnutrition. Censored. I might have an idea what exactly they mean by censored. Disturbing, but uh, maybe that's not uh, not the thing. Right. Anything else? I think this might be everything in here. Right. Where do I need to go? Oh, not far. Right, so I have the machine strike, I can now uh, do it off screen. Then I can get the two points from completing the expert machine strike players as well. to scan that much although yeah in this area I should start scanning because this is an area I have not checked is there are other data points oh chest there sure is this oh, it is actually the right way I thought for a second I took a wrong turn somewhere. Okay, that's where we need to go. I see them, there's another chest over there. Not seeing any, any data points. Not that there aren't any. Well, who knows? Again, I can double check off screen and then just read them. A barbarian! Run, stranger! There's a killer machine about! Yeah, that's what I'm here The machine for. will kill you! Just open the doors. There you are. Ah. 
I guess we're doing this. It's an apex one, that's why. Come on. There goes the piece. He's injured. He doesn't have all the uh, weapons. Weapons off. No! Ow. Yeah, you can still charge in middle. went a bit more bad than I kind of wanted. Hey, he's down. Come on over, you. A word. I mean, thank you for the assist, though. Much appreciated. You killed that machine. Your CEO sent me. I need to speak to Alva. By all means, then. Open the gates. Stranger! Oh, to... Over here! Aloy! Oh, hey, Alva. Over here! Yeah, Jess, give me a second. Do you have anything interesting around here? It is actually a shelter. Like nothing else around. Hey, the dig side. Alva. Alva, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine. But what are you doing here? There's something inside Thebes that I need. I went to Landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement. Kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. The whole thing was a little... tense. There was something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thebes. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The CEO wants faster results. Uh. Aloy, <laughs> you have to be careful. He's... There they are. The legacy tells us that Elizabeth Sobeck helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. Thebes awaits us below. Shall we? Uh, we're gonna go in automatically? I guess. Kinda wanted to look a bit more around. Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out.
Behold, the door to Thebes. A door like no other. Okay. Theodore Pharaoh, of course. Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. Ted Pharaoh. But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may, Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found, the ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. Or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded and they're too far underwater, but... I... Yeah, I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. I'm surprised the door didn't start scanning, you know? Give me chat. Into the water with you. Find us a way into Thebes. Oh, I really want to smack you. Like, seriously. Go into the water and find a way to open that door. I guess uh, that's why you're the CEO. Mm hmm. Gotcha. Alva, nice save there. There's gotta be a way in down there. And you, Bohai, you kind of owe your uh, life right now to Alva. To think of all this preserved. Okay, so into the water. Anything around here? Because we kinda went down automatically. How far did we go down? Ah, this far. Invisible wall, so I cannot get out. Gotcha! So I'm stuck here. Uh, I mean, it kinda makes sense from a story perspective. It's just a chest, and there's the there's the plank. <laughs> I push you inside. Nah. Right. Um. I'm gonna leave it here for this episode, but not before actually reading a couple more data points. So. I just go through them because. I'm expecting this next part to be a bit long and I would really like to have it in one episode, you know. So yeah, let's start with Colossus Bay buy-in. Your game, your team, your stadium, your home. The stage for our future is set. Team Herculean has been listening to his supporters and after six years of development, the answer is finally here. Colossus Bay, the new residential area for the most dedicated fans in the trials of Titan's universe. At the southeast's eastern edge of San Francisco waterfront, over 5,100 new homes, 326 of which are affordably subsidized, subsidized by state regulations, shall open their doors to the worthy, to you. And with its stadium Empyrean at its beating heart, you will not only be close to the action, You'll be part of it. Whether you're streaming from the comfort of your lofty seaside apartment, scoping out the action in the cutting edge holosphere that each public space is equipped with, or from your guaranteed MVP seat in the Empyrean, you will hear every cheer, feel every rumble. As every neighbor will be dedicated fan like you, you'll never walk alone again. You'll be closer to the gods of gaming that you've ever thought possible. Make Colossus Bay your home and share in the victory. 
we are phalanx. Register your interest now. Right, how that worked out for you guys? Okay, crawl tonight. Messages between Elidich, Elidith, and Mili. Eli. Or Eilidich. Or Eilidich. Whatever. I uh, said Eli. You on for some crawling tonight? Mili. Checks if there's some anything else to do. Sees nothing. For sure. I bring my dad's new scanner. Low signature. Shouldn't get picked up by the police drones. Eli. Where'd he get that? Mili. He's always buying prep prepper gear. Can't help himself. We got stacks of water packs and MREs. Didn't even notice when I added a new wetsuit to his last order. Ellie. Heh. <laughs> he might need it tonight. Satish found the tower out in the bay. He thinks there are some sealed floors in it. Millie. Ooh. Deep spelunking. Ellie. Heh. <laughs> yeah. If you're into the the inundation winter stuff. Meet me at the old Cineplex. We'll go out from Data Corrupted. And then Delta Engineer. Christian declines key to the city. San Francisco, June 25th, 2059. To everybody who claimed we held the Bay Area hostage, I'd like to say you're welcome. The opening of Delta Engineer Nikki Christian's Christian's speech was consistent with her reputation, blunt and to the point. Today, she was offered the key to San Francisco, San Fran for saving the city from catastrophic flooding. An effort that, 10 years later, still divides residents, both literally and figuratively. Never one to refuse controversy. Christians accepted the opportunity to speak, but declined the key itself. For those unfamiliar with Christians, and, our suspect and her successful but contentious efforts, a primer. In 2043, her Netherlands-based company, Cape Vertigal, partnered with US con conglomerate at Bay Global Infrastructure to segment the city into flood control zones. Central to the plan was the abandonment of several neighborhoods deemed too expensive to defend from the encroaching waters. Uh, Christian's unyielding insistence on the boundaries of the map and her relentless drive to ensure that poorer zone were saved along with affluent ones and her both enmity and respect throughout the city. Looking back on those days, it was utter insanity. Christian said in her speech, the sea level rise was undeniable, yet billion, billion dollar construction contracts were still being signed off in, a, in at risk areas like Sunset or Westlake. Just raise the foundations a few feet, was the city council's mantra. Meanwhile, everyone knew that we were past preventive measures. Damage control was our only beta corrupted. Right, so since this is a Dutch name, I definitely butchered it. So, whoops. Okay, focus update released. Napit. The Sparrow most recent update to the focus make, it, make up for the last one. From power issues to limited app support to multiple crashes, Faro Automated Solutions might have launched their Athen update to a fanfare, but it was defined by the failures that followed. Maybe it, maybe it was com complacency resulting from their huge market share or a change of key personnel. But whatever the cause, Athen's failures left consumers feeling that FAS had lost track of what their cost customers really wanted. So, does Nepit leave? up to Ted Farrow's promise, promises to set things right? Well, a few hours in, I can report that Nepit is brimming with tweaks, improvements and some truly revolutionary thinking that really open up the potential of the device. From refined biometrics that can monitor your family's health and even with lost pets, or uh, no, and even find lost pets, to assistant diagnosing Diagnosing words. Diagnosing and repairing household appliances. Nepit offers users a whole lot of practical assistance. And that's before we look at the additional 20, 20 hundred thousand apps covering music, fashion, navigation and more. 
My full review is still to follow, but at first glance, Nepit has gone a long way to put right what Atten got wrong. Comments. From user as MSDM. They changed the focus UI again. How am I supposed to find anything? I hope you all get corrupted. Comment from Faro forever. I own every focus model that's come out. A leaf for update day and data corrupted. And then last comment from Faro sucks zero zero. Faro sucks. <laughs> right. I am gonna leave it here. That uh, was quite a bit of reading and all that. And then I don't know if I'm gonna read the last three in the next episode or after the next episode, depending how long it's gonna take. And uh, again, I'm assuming I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, looks like there's like four floors around here. So definitely we're gonna find data points. So yeah. And I'm gonna be busy reading those. But for now, I don't think I need to replace the shredder. Uh, shock or acid. Maybe? Because I think shock is a bit more better. Yeah, I'll... I'll keep the shock. For now. Uh, until I get a legendary and see how that one goes. Anyway, leave it here for this episode and continue next time. So, hopefully you enjoyed this part, guys. But as always, don't forget... To take care.